Hi, this is George Cow, and this is a video about how to keep up with the updates of the people who are most important to you on Facebook. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Facebook homepage, which is facebook.com, and then uh, instead of just clicking on news, or instead of staying here on the news feed and looking at you know somewhat random postings that Facebook serves up for you, scroll down and find where it says interests. Now you might not have these yet, but just click on the word interests, okay? Oops, okay, once you've clicked on the word interests, again, you scroll down, you click on the word interests, and now you're here in the interest section. You might just have the following one. You might not have these yet, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you by giving you an example of, of adding a couple, I'm gonna start an interest list of um, uh, some of the uh, clients in my current coaching program just to give you an example so I'm gonna click add interests okay and then instead of adding what other people have created I'm gonna create my own so click on create list okay and then um, I'm gonna actually uh, so instead of clicking on any of these pages or anything like that what I recommend doing is scrolling down and clicking next okay and uh, this is this is I'm gonna put um, current clients okay these are clients and who can see this list I'm gonna put only me and that's what I I recommend because then um, who you put on the list is all private to you so current clients only me I don't I'm gonna put a couple of clients in my on the list I don't think they'll mind um, having people know they're in my coaching program because uh, yeah they're they're building great businesses um, current clients and click only me only I can see it and then click down and click done okay so now no one's on this list yet and the way you add people to the list the easiest way I would say is to start uh, well the easiest way actually is to go to their profiles and fan pages and add them from there so um, first person I'm gonna add is Allison McKenzie so I'm gonna type her name in the Facebook search Allison McKenzie. I'm going to click on her here. That's that's who I'm trying to add. So once I get to Allison's page, I'm going to click. I'm going to scroll to the right hand side, and I'm going to click on the gear icon, and I'm going to click Add to Interest Lists, and I'm going to click Current Clients. Okay. Besides adding uh, her personal profile, I'm also going to add her fan pages to the interest list because if, since she's one of my current clients, I want to make sure I see the updates that she posts to her fan pages too. So the way to get to someone's fan page it typically is to look at the about section and where um, it says train, you know, their, their job title and then the company or the fan page. So job title and then the fan page is Heart Center Network. So I hover over this one. I scroll down a bit. I, I click like. I hadn't liked it yet, but now I will. And then once I click like, I can hover over this, click on add to interest list, click on current clients. You see? And um, another one, Allison McKenzie. All right. Because the, these, are, these are job, you know, sort of uh, generic job titles, um, job title, and then this is the fan page. So I'm going to go here, hover over like, click on add to interest list, click on current clients. Uh, and I'll add one more just to show you. Um, let's see, Brenda, Brenda. Nice. Okay, so her, and uh, so I want to show you this example because Brenda is also someone I want to add to my current clients list, but she's not yet a friend, so I can't add her to uh, the interest list. So I have to click Add Friend first, and once she approves my friend request, then I can come back to her profile, click on the gear icon, and there will now there will at that point be an Add to Interest list here. But it's not; she's not a friend. Uh, on Facebook yet. So um, so I hope that's very helpful. So let me just kind of go back to and show you where, where that shows up. Click to back to the Facebook homepage and where I find that new list I scroll down and it should be in my interest section and what I recommend doing is clicking on the pencil icon next to the list that you've just created and click add to favorites and this is this only affects your Facebook uh, sort of home page so next time I come to Facebook it's in my favorite section so I can easily click um, actually Alona is also one of my current clients so I'm just gonna hover over here uh, click on um, uh, actually um, so this is called a friend list this is not interest list a friend list is is where you cannot add 
uh, someone's fan page. So to add to an interest list, you have to click on the profile, go to the right hand side, click on the gear, and click on add to interest list current clients. Okay, so now in the future, I click on the Facebook, I go back to home, and then I click on current clients, and now I'm just seeing the updates of the people I put on the current clients list. Okay, and it's always nice when um, uh, whomever you are trying to keep your, your most important people in your life, it's always nice for you to uh, just you know visit Facebook every now and then, be focused and click on the, the list and just like, read and like their their postings and um, whenever you have a chance, just you know type something, type uh, type a, a, an appreciative comment about whatever they posted and that, that really makes people uh, feel good and uh, it's a great way to kind of keep keep a, a good relationship with uh, with the, your VIPs on on Facebook the other last thing I want to say is besides adding your most important people it could be your current clients it could be your family members your closest friends your business partners um, I also recommend add con, con, adding adding friend lists not friend lists sorry interest lists again scrolling down clicking interest creating interest lists on the people and the and the and the and the um, celebrities and the books and the and the brands whom you want to influence you, because um, if you if you if you believe in living more consciously, living uh, in a way that you're continually upgrading who you are to become more and more of the person you want to be, one of them is what you consume in terms of information. And so I'll give you a quick example. I'm going to add an interest list called. Um, I'm going to add an interest list, uh, click on next. I'm going to make it public this time because I don't mind. Um, inspire spirit. So the, uh, I'm going to add a couple of folks who inspire my spiritual path. Okay, so just to give you an example. So here, I'm going to, the way I do it is I, I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to find the Dalai Lama, for example. Okay, Dalai Lama. So as I search, that's probably the official page because that has the most number of likes. Click on it. Come over here click on the gear, click on add to interest list, inspire spirit. Okay. Um, another one, I'm going to search, uh, let's see, Kardec Radio. I like Kardec Radio. Scroll to the right, click gear, add to interest list, inspire spirit. So next time I'm on Facebook, oh, and I also want to add them to my favorites list so it's easier to access. So scroll down, click on this pencil icon, click Add to Favorites. So next time I come to Facebook, instead of just reading random things that Facebook decides to serve, serve up for me, I can be inspired you know, in my spiritual path by clicking here. And, you know, uh, reading and being inspired by you know, the Dalai Lama's postings, and I guess Cardiac Radio hasn't posted anything recently. Um, and also follow up and, um, you know, I, I call it social media caring. So provide social media caring for the people who are most important in my life. So I hope this video helps and I hope this video will um, help you to to do some good social media caring for the people and, and help you to um, continue growing and solidifying the relationships that are most important to you. And if you find this helpful, please do share this video forward so that more and more people can use Facebook more consciously and create relationships that really matter to them. Uh, with that, I, I wish you well and thank you for watching this video.